Here in the French city of Lyon, a group of volunteers have spent the weekend diving below the surface of the Rhone River to remove rubbish. They say it's part of a local push to reduce pollution and environmental damage. Guillaume Petit reports. The water looks beautiful as it sparkles in the sunlight, but underneath it's a different story. With compressed air bottles, wetsuits and flippers, a dozen divers are now equipped for an expedition to meet an expanding species, rubbish and all kinds of heavy items thrown in by people. These summer volunteers have decided to conduct patrols every weekend to raise awareness. We want to show people that everything around them can be cleaned and protected. If everyone does their part, we'll have better results. And with improved nature, the fauna and flora will come back into the city. It's 10 o'clock and the first dives are near the docks. And very soon, the first items are being removed from the riverbed under the surveillance of these boat pilots. Discarded items and rubbish were located first by firemen to help divers to find them in depth ranging from 7 to 17 meters. And this boat is here to help them to get the heaviest items out of the water. Deep down, divers have even found a mountain of at least 20 bicycles. But in some places, some conditions make their work harder. There's a strong current and almost zero visibility. As the hours go by, objects thrown in find their way back into the light. Scooters, rubbish bins, road signs, polluting our waterways that eventually flows into the Mediterranean. A reality now exposed for all to see. I feel despair and sadness. It's a pity that there are still people throwing electric scooters and trolleys in the river. It shows a huge lack of civic mindfulness. But according to Lionel, the founder of the association, there is still work to do. Rivers are a bit like veins that lead to the sea, and Lyon is a city of water. We have a river, the Rhone, the second tributary of the Mediterranean after the Nile. Like many other waterways, the Rhône has become full of plastic. When it breaks, the components are harmful to fish and provide a new home for bacteria and viruses. It's a hidden, sometimes invisible reality which will surface eventually. In Lyon, Guillaume Petit, Euronews.